Wait a second. <laughs> Before I get started, I need to make a little correction because I think I made a mistake and didn't send you the whole title of the speech. And yesterday, I actually forgot to send the title to because I gave the same speech yesterday. The speech name is, don't be mistaken, success is not a mistake. So it's quite fitting that the mistakes happened. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. Success is not a mistake, but along the way towards success, we're going to make mistakes. And the sooner we can take responsibility for our mistakes, the sooner we'll have the ability to become successful. Success comes in all sizes, big and small. And the same way happens with mistakes. They come in all sizes, big and small. And personally, I don't mind making mistakes, especially if I make them right away, and I make a big mistake right away, because the bigger the mistake, usually the easier it is to catch. And also, the bigger the mistake, usually the bigger the lesson you're going to learn from that mistake. I'm not standing in front of you here today because I don't make mistakes. I'm standing in front of you here today because I've made many mistakes along the way. But the reason I've become successful was because I learned from my mistakes. Just the other day when I was flying here to Asia, I was checking into my flight and the person checking me in at the beginning couldn't find my reservation. And at the beginning he said, sir, don't worry, there's no problem. The systems are slow. But then he called over his supervisor, and when his supervisor came over, the first thing the supervisor did was ask me for my reservation confirmation. So I pulled out my phone, looked for the reservation, and handed it over. And then she looked at me and she said, Sir, if you want to get on this flight tonight, you're going to have to buy a new ticket. You've made a mistake. And actually, I didn't think I'd made the mistake because I'm an experienced traveler. I've traveled a lot. I've traveled to over 120 countries. And I've never made a mistake on my flight reservation. But then she showed me the small mistake I'd made. Or made, better said. I didn't double check my spelling on my last name. And it was spelled wrong. And if there's one thing I hate more than making mistakes and being called out on my mistakes, is having to pay the price for my mistakes. <laughs> Especially when it's a few thousand dollars or something I've already paid for. But the good thing is that there's actually always a silver lining in every single mistake we make. And as I said, the bigger mistake we make, the bigger price we pay for the mistake, the bigger the lesson it is. And needless to say, I will never make that mistake again of not not double checking my last name or anything on my reservation. See, as I said before, the reason I'm standing in front of you is not because I don't make mistakes anymore. It's because I learn from my mistakes. I'm so good at making mistakes that I actually started a business all by mistake. <laughs> And it wasn't because I had a great idea or anything. It was because I was left with nothing except for two questions. I was dead broke. I had no idea of how to start a business. But I used two questions to come up with a system and to come up with a business idea. Those two questions were, how can I fix this? And how can I use this? See, I was dead broke. I had no money. And I kept on asking these questions over and over again. And at some point, I came up with an idea. And even though it was a silly idea, I came up with a system that kept my mistakes in check. When I started out my business, we started out with very few people. I had three employees because I couldn't afford any more. But by asking these questions over again, over again and keeping my mistakes in check, I went from being dead broke to starting a business with $9 and ending up retiring three years later a millionaire. Along the way, I made every single mistake once again because the people I hired weren't very good. 
And because we have very few employees, I need to do, have everybody do multiple jobs. And in the process, everybody made mistakes. But there was one person in my business who made the most mistakes and the most costly mistakes, but I couldn't fire him because it was me, myself. <laughs> the one thing I did know, though, is that if I kept on asking those two questions, I'd come up with a system to keep my mistakes in check. I tried everything. I hired more people, more employees. But the problem was, the more employees I, I hired, the more problems, the more mistakes they made. So then I decided to look into software solutions. And I found some solutions, but they didn't take away all the mistakes. Then I decided the best thing I could do is hire an expert, a consultant. And then one day I was flying out to visit a consultant in New York. And by pure chance, I peeked into the cockpit. And there I saw something amazing. I saw the pilots sitting down and going over lists and checking off items. And because I asked this question over and over again, how can I use this? It dawned on me that maybe a checklist would keep my mistakes in check. So when I sat down in my seat in the plane, I started writing out all the procedures we used when we were having mistakes, and I created checklists. When I got back to my business, we implemented these checklists, and within days, our error rate shot down to zero. My employees Productivity skyrocketed. And best of all, we ended up having super happy customers. This little idea of using a checklist worked so well that within a few months, my business was running like clockwork. So basically, I was superfluous in this business. So I could finally realize one of my childhood dreams to go travel the world. So I took off a whole year from my business and went and traveled the world. And when I came back after a year, my business was still running like clockwork. And best of all, it was still growing like crazy. So by the time I got back home, I was actually richer and better off than when I went away. <laughs> Checklists are, for me, like the Swiss Army knife of business tools, because they are a multi-tool that can be used for basically anything in any area. Checklists are super simple to implement, and they will keep your errors in check, your mistakes in check. And the one thing I want you to give you all today is a quick little system that I've been using, because now I teach businesses how to eliminate their mistakes by using a checklist system. And it's super easy, it's super quick, so we can do it here tonight quickly. What I want you all to think about is one mistake you've made recently, or one problem you've had recently, that keeps on happening over and over again. And then what I want you to think about is how, or what you've learned from that mistake, how you could have prevented that mistake, and then I want you to think about how you can use what you learned in order to not to make that mistake over and over again. Because basically all success is, is about not making those same mistakes over and over again that are gonna cost you, learning from your mistakes. Once you have the idea of what went wrong and how you can use it, just write down a simple checklist. And I will give you a little checklist just now because I use checklists for everything now. For my personal life, I keep them with me at all times. And needless to say, on this travel checklist, is double check your last name on your reservation. <laughs> <laughs> what I want you really to take away from this talk is to remember that success is not a mistake. That mistakes are going to happen along the way. But what you need to do is keep those mistakes in check and learn from them. And a checklist will let you keep your mistakes in check.